Do you want to know how to track multiple objects or use callouts in your videos utilizing Filmora 10? Well, on today's video, that's exactly what we're going to cover. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and watching another video. Now, if you're new here, please consider liking, subscribing as uh, makes me feel good. Now, like I said, we're talking about using Filmora 10 and doing callouts and tracking more than one object in the software. So let's jump on the computer and take a look. All right, everyone, we are now on the computer. We have Filmora 10 up and running, and I want to let you know real quick, if you do not have a copy of Filmora 10 yet and you want to take it for a test drive, there is a link in the description. You click on that link, it brings you right over for a free download, and you can get it for either Mac or Windows. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways of importing videos. The first one is clicking on this little movie uh, marker here, I think they call it movie clacker. I'm not quite sure, but we all know what it looks like from the, uh, the movies when we see them doing behind the scenes stuff. So let's click on that. And the first video I'm gonna bring in is these three ladies running. So I'm gonna show you how to track multiple objects in one clip using uh, Filmora 10. And then the other way of uh, importing a video is going up here where you see import, hit that little drop down, and we're gonna go import media file. It's gonna bring us back to the same folder. And I'm gonna look for another video. Let's see if I can find it here, this lady walking. And I'll show you, uh, how to uh, be able to use this clip for uh, a call out or tracking an object with a call out. like in this example here we're gonna use a cell phone so first things first let's bring this into our timeline and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make if you're doing a video do all your color grading and stuff like that first before you start uh, editing your video but since we're just gonna leave it the way it is I'm gonna show you how to track one object first so uh, first things first, we're gonna make a couple copies of this. So you're gonna hit Command C or Control C, and then Command V or Control V, and we're just gonna put a couple different tracks up here. So we're gonna track all three of these ladies. And what I want to do first here, let's move this over, bring our playhead back. Is uh, a little quick pro tip: these locks here. If you lock them, it locks the track, so you can't make any. Uh, adverse uh, adjustments to them something you might uh, you know not plan on doing and then what we want to do is we want to hide these tracks we're also going to hit the little eyeball here to hide them so we're really we're just focusing on this one track right here so with that being said what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and hit the uh, motion tracking click on that and a tip here make sure you click on double click on that box so when you click it once, it's going to highlight everything. You click it again, it's going to highlight just this box. This is your motion tracking box. So we're going to go one, two, and eventually three. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this in here like that. And we're just going to bring it up to the face because that's what we're going to track uh, for right now. Make it as small as possible. And then we're going to hit start tracking. Uh, I've made the mistake before of hitting OK, but you got to actually track the clip first. So you hit that and Filmora 10 is going to do its magic and it does it fairly well. So now that that's done, we can see that there's nothing here except the other video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit OK. We're gonna go back over to our effects. So we're gonna go to elements. So let's do uh, this emoji here. And we're just gonna bring that down onto the timeline. So it's right there. And then we're gonna go and highlight our clip again and go back to motion tracking. And now we're gonna see emoji one, hit OK. And then bring our playhead to where, okay, now that's where the emoji comes up. So we're gonna wanna shrink that emoji down, right? And we're gonna move it and put it right over her head, like so. Now we bring back our playhead and we hit play. There you go. That emoji is gonna stick with her the whole time she's running. Now, that's how you track one object. Now, what if you wanna track the other two individuals? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock this bottom track and we're gonna hide it for a second. And we're gonna unlock this track and show it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, go to motion tracking. We're gonna double click, bring this up here. Now you're gonna do these same exact steps for the third step, so I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. 
I'm pretty sure most of you can figure this out. And if you can't, just leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to, you know, uh, answer any questions you might have or help you with adding uh, third, fourth, or fifth track. Now, remember, again, we're going to hit start tracking. It's going to track the second woman running. And when it's done, we're going to hit OK. Now, let's see. Let's pick uh, emoji six here. And we're going to bring that down to the timeline. And say we want to make that come in a little bit later. So we're going to put it there. I'm back down to our clip, hit motion tracking, and emoji six is now there. So if we hit that and then say okay, when we hit the playhead, we need to bring it forward. Now it's too big. So now that we know what the emoji is, we need to shrink it down and bring it up to here. Let that play through. So now it's going to follow her. So now what we want to do is we would repeat this process again for the third person. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show this track, unlock it, lock and hide the other two tracks. And if I did everything correctly, it should work. Let's see what we got here. So there's one, two, and now it's going to follow them the whole way. So that's how you're going to track multiple objects in Filmora. 10. So there are a few steps to it, but once you've done it once or twice, it, the, the process goes pretty quickly. You're not going to have to spend too much time on it. Now, let's go back to our media folder here and uh, let's bring in this lady here and we'll just bring her right there for now. Let's uh, open these two tracks up and unlock them, bring her down to here, bring our playhead forward. So now this woman's walking with this cell phone here and uh, let's have like a call so it's going to be like a little line and then whatever we want that to be so what we're going to do first is we're going to highlight that clip go back over to motion tracking and double click now you can see how i move that main frame so just hit Control z or command z to bring it back and we're going to come back over here hit motion tracking see i did it again see i, I always forget to do that see so shrink it down so it is just on her phone right there. Bring it up a little bit, I'll move that up. All right, and now we're gonna hit track. So always remember to bring your playhead back. See, I was messing around. So that's gonna move initially. The first frame is where you want that to be. So uh, let's hit tracking and let the program Filmora 10 do its stuff. And again, while this is doing that, if you do not have a copy of this, please go down to the description, click on that link, get your download for Windows or Mac. And now we're gonna hit okay. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go over to, I believe it's under titles here. Let's see here. And yep, we have call outs. So there's call outs I have from the film stock, but we're just gonna use the call outs that come with it. So here are the different call outs that you can pick now. For example, this one here, if I wanted to use it, all you have to do is double click on this arrow and it's going to download it. And then if you hit play, it shows you what the call out looks like. So pretty cool, but that's not the one we want to use. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, let's use that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come shrink this timeline a little bit, come back to the beginning of our clip, bring this down on top and you can make this as long or as short as you want. And then what we're going to do is highlight this track. Come up here, hit call out six, hit OK. And then we want to make sure we don't do that. What you want to do is when you're editing this, you want to use this little floating box here, your X and Y axis to maneuver this, because if you try to just pick up one part of this, it's going to leave the text behind. So let's just adjust that text a little bit. Use my arrow keys to get it where I want. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to slide it that way to where it's on our phone. We are going to bring it up the other way. There we go. And now we're going to bring the scale down a little bit. Whoa, too much. And then we're going to just adjust this a little bit. So there you go. Bring the scale down a little bit more. Bring this down and then over. So you just want to fine tune it. Then you hit OK. And now when you go back to play this, it should follow her phone just like that as she walks. So if you have somebody walking and you want to do some type of call out or you're, you have something in your video that you want to draw attention to, this would be 
a great way to do it. So you can either track multiple items or, or people or whatever you're tracking, or you can use the call out to call out a certain thing. So you can make this look like she's getting a text message from somebody or however you want to use it. Now, if you are going to use any of these techniques, please comment down below. Let me know how you're going to use them in your video and let me know where I can find your video to watch because I love watching the stuff that you all create in this community. Now we're done here, so let's jump off the computer. So what'd you think, right? Pretty simple process, a lot of duplicating of things, but it's definitely something you can do in your videos. Now I'm really excited to start using this more in my videos, especially the call outs, because I think it draws attention to certain features in your video. Now, if you're planning on using this, definitely comment down below, let me know how you're gonna use it, link it to the video that you're gonna use it in, and then also ask any questions you might have. I do really enjoy interacting with all of you on this channel. So I look forward to seeing what you guys are gonna create. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.